How's it going? I'm here with another GM mode, and we're right at the trade deadline here. Not doing too well on the season, so I was taking a look at some trades so we could try and rebuild just a little bit. And there's one player that I really wanted to get, and I didn't figure out how to exactly trade for him yet. But his name is Bo Bennett on the Pittsburgh Penguins. He's got elite potential right here. He's our right winger, which we need because we're not too deep uh, for prospects on the right wing. And I was thinking we could trade, uh, where is he, where is he, Anthony Duclair, because he has top nine potential and Bo Bennett has elite potential. Now, obviously, these trade values do not line up, but uh, I would need to see if there's anybody that they want, any draft picks that they'd want, although draft picks are not the first thing that I'm going to go for. Is there anybody that they want that doesn't have potential? There's Vlasic, but I'm not trading him. Yeah. I really don't want to trade anybody with potential. Goalies matching block, they don't want anybody. So draft picks, just because I don't want to give up any uh, prospects or anything. How about a second round pick? Uh, okay, it looks like it's a little in our favor. Let's see if we can get a third back then for that. There we go. So Duclair in a second for Bo Bennett in a third. Will it go through? Trade rejected. Okay. Let's try removing the third. Proposed trade. Trade accepted. Okay. So we got Bo Bennett. He's an elite right wing sniper, which I think will be very good for us in the future. Uh, he can play up on the... Up on the uh, second line right now with Darren Helm and Tobias Ryder. And he can get some power play time so he can get better. Substitute in all lines. There we go. And he's got really good stats. I mean, his puck skills are off the chart for being 25. His shooting is really good. He's got really good offensive awareness. I think he is a very, very good player. And he will be a lot better than Duclair ever could have been for us. Now, uh, okay, special teams still got some problems here. All right, uh, I'm going to switch to Bias Ryder and put him down on the second power play. There you uh, I don't want him on the point, though, if he's just going to be on the second power play. Let's put Tenge there. And then uh, I want Bo Bennett on the first power play. Uh, he's a right winger. Is he a right-handed shot? He is. Okay. Um is ooh okay that works perfect there we go all right i like how that looks so we just added bo bennett elite right wing sniper to the team uh i really don't think that'll make us any better this year but for next year and the next coming years sure he's 25 we still got elite potential he can, he's still going to get better i think he was a great addition to our team welcome aboard bo bennett Connor Murphy, uh, really changed the locker room for you. Uh, it was a hard decision. Sorry it affected you. There we go. All right, so let's continue simulating. Uh, actually, no, let's take a look at the team overall. See, we increased our offense to a 90 overall. I really like that. And he's got elite potential. Sure, he's 25, but it's still he's still going to grow as a player. I think he, he can get up to what Mikhail Bodker is right now. But anyway, let's simulate to the end of the season, see how we do. Uh, I really don't think we'll make the playoffs. It would take a miracle for us to make the playoffs, and I really don't think uh, we have any miracles right now. And three straight losses, wow, to kick that off. That's not good at all. Shootout loss. Uh-oh. Five straight now. Jesus. I guess we're just trying to get the best pick possible. Let's edit scouting assignment. Uh, where should I go? Let's go to the QMJHL defense for six weeks. And we got our first win since the Bo Bennett trade. 6-3 against St. Louis. And we're back to losing now. Oh my goodness. You know, I can, I, I'll be fine with the losing, but I can't stand getting shut out. Oliver Eklund Larson would like to talk to us. 
Uh, I've been feeling good about my performances. Yeah, you should feel proud. That's a lot, a lot of good work. There we go. Let's continue simulating, and we get a win against New Jersey. I really don't think we'll win too many more games. And I'm fine with losing, but we definitely have to get some points. Like, we can't get shut out against New York there. That's ridiculous. And another shutout. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. We at least got to score some points here. Oh, 5-2 loss to Minnesota. 4-3 uh, loss to Calgary. And a shootout win against Washington. So we finish 30-43-9. and nine. I'm pretty sure that's a worse record than last year. But I think we have a slight better prospect pool this year. Let's take a look at points. Obviously not a good season for us. Uh, the Nuge with 54. How does that compare to the rest of his career? Uh, it's not a career high. It's not a career low, though, either. So, you know what? That's not bad. His rookie year, he... Oh, God. If he would have played the entire season, he definitely would have uh, got more points. So, that's not good. He has a minus 24. We were a bad defensive team. His shooting percentage was really low as well. Oliver ekman Larson at 53 points. That's good. Bo Bennett at 53. I don't know how many of those were with us, but how does that compare to his career? So that's career high. That's good. 40 assists, which is something that uh, is really nice to add. Tobias Ryder with 47. Max Domi with 44. I really wish he'd get elite potential. Uh, Darren Helm with 43. That's not too bad. He is, however, a third line forward. Doesn't quite have the offensive skills. So if we can sign a better center in free agency uh he would be a very good third line center for us Tenge with 40 points i'm not sure if he'll be on the team next year because he was more of a rental player just to try and make our prospects better but uh mikhail bodger terrible season jesus bad season bad bad season horrible ah, i just got nothing else to say minus 27 uh yeah just bad season for him. Steve Downey at 30, and then this is what the rest of the team looks like. So that's all right, I guess. Uh, let's take a look at how our goalies did. I really think this is uh, the catalyst for us. What really made us just a terrible team. Uh, yeah, Tokarski. 3.1 goals against average. Didn't even get a .9 save percentage. Uh, Domingue, he was a... Uh, Kind of terrible backup. Decent goals against average. Decent save percentage. Nothing special. Had a couple shutouts. But definitely neither of these guys are starter material. Uh, let's take a look around the league real quick. Forgot to do that. See how everybody else finished. Entire league. Uh, sort. There we go. 95 points for Vladimir Tarasenko. He's just tearing it up. Uh, more goals than assists. So, yeah, that pretty much makes sense for him. He's a great shooter. Uh, Patrick Kane, 93. Crosby at 92. And that's how the top players look. McDavid, Jesus, 92 overall already. 85 points. Man, that's fantastic. But that's how they look. And let's take a look at goalies around the league. Uh, who played the Who played the most games? Who carried the heaviest load? Seventy four games for Devin Dubnik. Oh my goodness! Talk about a workhorse. Um, who led the league in wins? Ben Bishop with forty eight. My goodness, who had the most losses? Uh, Roberto Luongo. Wow, that's surprising. Uh, no, that's not what, uh, most shutouts. Uh, Ben Bishop with 11. Jesus. Fantastic goalie, 30 years old. Uh, I believe he will be a free agent this year. Just because Tampa Bay does not have the cap space. Uh, so that's how that looks. Let's take a look at the team stats. Uh, we were worse, <laughs> worse in the division by far. At a really bad end of the month. Uh, how were we in the West? 
worst team in the West and in the entire league. Where were we? Okay. All right. So we're tied for the worst in the league. Um, Florida had more regulation plus overtime wins. So they are uh, slightly better team than us. Maybe we can win the lottery. And if we don't, we can uh, get the first overall pick uh, from Florida or Washington, depending on who gets it. But yeah. So I think we're guaranteed a top three pick. And let's take a look at the playoff tree real quick. Actually, you know what? I can just go ahead and uh, simulate through the playoffs. So let's do that. First, let's hold a team meeting, though. Uh, not a whole lot of locker room chemistry. We can rebound from this and have a better year next year. Bo Bennett and John Scott both like that. Unfortunately, we will not have John Scott next year because I do not think we will have a problem hitting the cap floor. But anyway, let's go to the calendar and just simulate up to the draft. Uh, simulate up to that day. I wish we could see what pick we have, but you know what? That's fine. There we go. Uh, AHL season has ended. Oh, let's take a look at uh, the playoff tree real quick. See who uh, made the playoffs and who's playing. Playoff favorite is Chicago, and they are down 3-1 to one against St. Louis, so that's surprising. Uh, but yes, that is how it looks. There we go. Alright, let's simulate to the draft. There we go. But yeah, um, again, we're rebuilding right now. I thought we would have been a playoff team this year if we had better goaltending. We had Tukarski in that, only 83 overall. He is he would be a good backup on a playoff team. Definitely not on our team. He's not enough to be a starter. Let's take a look at defense from the WHL for six weeks. Uh, definitely not good enough to be a starter. And on a team that doesn't exactly have the best team in front of them, uh, that made them even worse. So, so he didn't get too much help. But then again, uh, I think we'll have a much better year next year. Uh, we just got to get a couple key free agents. It really sucks that we couldn't get Brock, uh, Brock Nelson. Or no, Fran, Franz Nielsen from New York in free agency. And he ended up going to a different team, which really sucks. But that's how it goes. It's uh, free for all and free agency. So we just got to look to have a really good free agency this year. And if our prospects grow a little bit, like Max Domi, if he keeps getting better, if Bo Bennett gets a little bit better, I think we can have a really good year. And let's simulate up to the draft. We can see who won the Stanley Cup. Take a look at the awards. Uh, Pittsburgh won the cup. Wow. So, uh, Anthony Duclair gets a Stanley Cup. Wow. That's surprising. Uh, Pittsburgh wins the Stanley Cup. Chicago won the Presidents, and it was the Wild against Pittsburgh. Player awards. Tarasenko wins the Art Ross. Patty Kane wins the Hart Memorial. James Norris goes to Duncan Keith. Lady Ving to Vladimir Tarasenko. The Calder to Del Call. Con Smythe goes to Flurry. Obviously played... Really well, but the uh, Con Smythe always goes to the goalie. Uh, Bishop wins the Vesna. Helbiuk wins the Jennings. The Masterton goes to Jackman. Frank J. Selke to Jonathan Taves. Ted Lindsay award to Patrick Kane. And the Maurice Rocket Richard goes to Vladimir Tarasenko. So that's how that looks. And uh, I really wish I could take a look at the draft order beforehand. And actually, I can. So let's take a look. See if we have the first overall pick. Draft picks. Ah, it doesn't say. Okay. Never mind. But yeah, we're definitely going to have one of the top picks. So let me know what I should do with it. Uh, if, there's, if I should try and move up or if I should stay where I'm at. Or anything, really. But yeah, I, I think that'll just about do it. Uh, yeah, there's not really too much I have to do right now except for start the draft. 
but that'll have to wait until next time. But until then, I'll see ya.